Parrot OS 6.4 Parrot Security OS, often just Parrot OS, is a free Debian-based Linux distribution focused on security, privacy, and development. It comes preloaded with a huge arsenal of tools, over 600, for penetration testing, forensics, and anonymity, and general security tasks. Designed for both specialists and daily use, Parrot offers a flexible environment for security experts, developers, and privacy-aware users. In practice, it is used by ethical hackers, infosec professionals, and even students who need a hardened, ready-to-go platform. So what's new in Parrot OS 6.4? Version 6.4 is a major fresh of Parrot's toolset and core system. It uses the Linux 6.12 LTS kernel for the latest hardware support. Nearly every security tool is updated. For example, Metasploit framework jumps to 6.4.71, PowerShell Empire to 6.1.2, and tools like Silver, Sadio, now 0.48.1, Starkiller 3.0.0, NetX 1.4.0, and Airgadon 11.5.0 or 11.50 are all upgraded. Parrot's own checklist world lists move to 2025.2. The Firefox browser is updated to ESR140 with Parrot's privacy patches blocking telemetry. Two brand new tools were added. Gosh, a simple Go-based HTTP server and Convo C2, a Microsoft Teams post-exploitation tool. Microsoft's developer tools are now officially supported to PowerShell 7.5 and .NET 5-9 can be installed directly from Parrot's repo. In short, 6.4 is packed with updated and new utilities. Existing Parrot users can be upgraded with sudo parrot-upgrade or sudo apt-update and sudo app full upgrade. Though a fresh install is often recommended after skipping many versions. Now, installation and setup. Parrot OS 6.4 is available for multiple hardware platforms. Standard PC installers exist for AMD 64 and 32 bit, which is i386 architectures, as well as images for ARM devices. For example, Parrot provides ready-made images for Raspberry Pi 3, 4, 400, and 5. There's also a WSL edition for Windows 10 and 11 if you want to run Parrot inside Windows. The full security edition is recommended on machines with at least 4 GB of RAM. But Parrot is surprisingly lightweight. A minimal install can boot with as little as 320 MB RAM. And under 16 GB disk space. Graphical acceleration is not required. To install, download the 6.4 ISO from the official site or via torrent, which Parrot provides HTTPS links and WebSeed enabled torrents. Create a bootable USB or VM and proceed with the usual Debian style installer. The security edition comes packed. But if you choose the home or architect editions, you can customize which tools to install. After installation, updating is straightforward. Run sudo parrot test upgrade or use apt update and apt full upgrade. Parrot's doc note that a clean install is best for old systems to avoid legacy issues. So who should use Parrot OS 6.4? Parrot OS is tailored for users who need a secure, privacy-conscious environment. It is made for security experts and enthusiasts. Everything from ethical hackers and penetration testers to digital forensic analysts. It's also a developer-friendly system. Parrot comes with many programming languages, compilers, and the Codium IDE pre-installed. So software engineers and students can code right away. Privacy advocates appreciate its built-in anonymization tools and hardened defaults, which is inspired by Tails and Hunix. 
In fact, the official documentation sums it up. Parrot is made for security experts, digital forensic experts, wannabe hackers, and software developers. As one guide observes, Parrot is best for intermediate to advanced Linux users interested in cybersecurity. Ethical hackers and security pros use Parrot for penetration testing, vulnerability scanning, and forensic analysis. The full suite of tools is ready to out of the box. Now, software developers. Pre-installed development tools like languages, IDEs like Codium, let coders work easily on Parrot. It even supports Microsoft DevTools, for example, PowerShell or .NET natively. Now, privacy advocates. Parrot ships with strong sandboxing and privacy features like App Armor, Tor, etc. to keep your activities safe. For Linux enthusiasts, even regular Linux users can use Parrot as a daily driver. It's essential Debian under the hood. If you value security and don't mind a learning curve, Parrot offers a rich environment. Now, performance and resource use. Parrot OS is designed to be efficient. By default, it disables unused network services to keep RAM and CPU usage low. In practice, users find Parrot snappy on modest hardware. It's been described as a very lightweight that doesn't lag much. The system is based on Debian stable and uses the new 6.12 LTS kernel, which provides stability and broad hardware support. Even though it comes with so many tools, Parrot's performance remains top-notch. According to SimpleLearn, it runs smoothly on low-end machines. And its lightweight nature means it only needs about 320 MB of RAM for a simple setup. Overall, Parrot strikes a good balance between speed, stability, and functionality for a security-focused distro. Now, comparison with other Linux distros. It's useful to compare Parrot with other popular Linux distributions. Parrot OS vs. Kali Linux. Both are Debian-based and packed with security tools. But Parrot tends to be lighter and more versatile. For example, Parrot's recommended RAM is about 320 MB of RAM versus Kali's is 1 GB and even runs without 3D graphics acceleration. Parrot's developers also emphasize daily usability and privacy, which is sandboxing, Tor, etc. Whereas Kali is more strict a penetration testing platform. Geeks for Geeks notes that Parrot includes all the tools that are available in Kali and also adds its own like Anonsurf, Wi-Fi Fisher, and Agudon. In summary, Kali is specialized for professional pen testing, while Parrot adds extra features for anonymity and general use on top of the pen test toolkit. Now, Parrot OS vs. Ubuntu. Ubuntu is general purpose distro aimed at the ease of use and broad support. It's ideal for everyday desktop or server use and is very beginner friendly, but it comes with no pen testing tools by default. Parrot, by contrast, is optimized for security work. It has hundreds of pen testing tools pre installed and privacy protections built in. A Geeks for Geeks comparison notes that Ubuntu prioritizes simplicity and community support, whereas Parrot is tailored for cybersecurity professionals. In short, if you need a standard desktop for general tasks, Ubuntu or Mint or even Fedora, etc., may be better. If you need a security focused environment, Parrot stands out. Others. Compared to live forensic distros like Tiles, which is pure anonymity, or mainstream desktops like Fedora, Parrot occupies a middle ground. It offers strong privacy and pen testing features, plus a full desktop environment. Think of Parrot as a Swiss army knife for hackers and techies. More niche than Ubuntu, but more user-friendly than a purpose-built forensic live CD. Now, pros and cons of Parrot OS 6.4. Let's first start with the pros. Huge toolset. Comes with 600 plus security tools ready to go. 
you can install more via apt as needed privacy by default strong hardening which is app armor profiles tor or anonym self disabled auto mount protects your data developer friendly includes compilers interpreters and codium ide so you can code and test directly microsoft tools like powershell or .NET are also supported. Resource efficient. Runs well on older hardware, only 320 MB RAM minimum. The default Mac desktop is lightweight, so Parrot can be double as daily OS. Multiple editions. Security, home, and special editions, which is Architect, Cloud, Raspberry Pi, WSL, give flexibility. Regular updates. The 6.4 release shows Parrot's active development. Tools and system packages stay up to date for maximum compatibility. Now, cons. Not beginner friendly. Parrot security defaults can confuse newbies. For example, you cannot log in as root to the GUI by default, and critical apps are sandboxed. Geeks for Geeks wants Parrot is better suited for intermediate or advanced users. Lots of pre-installed apps. The menus and desktop come filled with security tools and shortcuts. Casual users may find it cluttered and may prefer a cleaner desktop look. Though you can uninstall what you don't need. Smaller community. Parrot has fewer tutorials and users than Ubuntu or Fedora. So troubleshooting can sometimes be harder. Commercial support and community forums exist but Kali or Linux resources are more abundant. Now finally, the conclusion. Parrot OS 6.4 is a powerful, privacy-hardened, Debian-based distro. It is ideal for anyone focused on security and hacking. Pen testers, ethical hackers, forensic experts, and developers who value built-in tools and anonymity. If you need hundreds of pen testing utilities and strong privacy by default, Parrot delivers everything out of the box. For daily desktop use or general computing, mainstream distros like Ubuntu or Fedora might be simpler choices. But for security professionals and enthusiasts, Parrot 6.4 offers a compiling, up-to-date toolkit. In short, if you prioritize our security, privacy, and flexibility, Parrot OS 6.4 is well worth trying. Otherwise, stick with a more general-purpose Linux. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.